Good morning. Please bow with me as I open us up in a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we gather here today to recognize our fellow brothers who have demonstrated academic excellence as well as outstanding moral character. May you guide those soon to be inducted, give them desire to serve, and set the example for those around them. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Good morning, President Peterson, faculty, staff, and distinguished guests. I am honored to welcome everyone to our Hargrave Beta Club Fall Induction Ceremony. My name is Archie Hooper, and I'm the president of Hargrave's Beta Club. I want to introduce our Beta Club officers for the school year 2024 through 2025. Vice President, Ine Mu. Secretary, Keelan Hudson. Chaplain, Kelston Hudson. Treasurer, Josh McGrail. Reporter, Patrick Folks. Today we recognize students invited to become National Beta Club members. Our club has been inducting members since 1955, and we are committed to continuing this tradition for many years to come. National Beta Club is America's largest independent, nonprofit, educational youth organization. For more than 80 years, it has prepared today's students to be tomorrow's leaders. The club focuses on developing members into school and community leaders based on the four pillars of beta, achievement, character, leadership, and service. An invitation to become a Beta Club member is an honor. To qualify, students at Hargrave must be on the Dean's or President's list for the previous semester, have a cumulative GPA of 3.5, work towards an advanced diploma, and participate in extracurricular activities. Beta Club cadets must also demonstrate leadership and excellent conduct. The members of the Beta Club are leaders in our school and community. They have joined the ranks of over 400,000 active beta members and approximately 9,600 clubs in the United States of America. Selection to the National Beta Club is considered a distinct honor recognized by all major colleges and universities. At this time, I would like to invite Keelan Hudson to introduce our guest speaker. Good morning. Rhonda Shepard Marston is married to Reverend Lynn Marston. They have two sons, Mark and wife Jessica, and Matt and wife Laura, two grandsons and one granddaughter. Rhonda is a native of Roanoke, Virginia. She graduated from Avery College and then from Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary. Rhonda recently retired from Pennsylvania County Schools where she taught for 31 years. In 2002, Rhonda became a beta mom when their first son was inducted into junior beta at Grattan Middle School. Mark and Matt were active in the beta club through middle and high school, participating in local, state, and national activities. In 2012, Rhonda became a beta sponsor at Gretna High School and continues to serve in this capacity. Rhonda enjoys spending time with family and volunteering at their church. She and her husband currently reside in Gretna, Virginia. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Marston. Good morning. What an honor to be here with you today. Faculty, staff, um, administration, president, beta president, um, and to all of the beta officers, and also to all the cadets. Thank you for allowing me to be here and to be a part of your beta induction ceremony. It is quite a pleasure. Um, I want to begin by congratulating all of you who have received and accepted the invitation to be a part of the largest independent nonprofit educational youth organization in America. Congratulations. It is an honor, and your 3.5 GPA is, is great. I'm glad that you have that standard. Thank you so much. The National Bader Club motto is to lead by serving others. Their mission is to inspire leaders to achieve their personal best through service, character, and achievement. The club's pillars, as was mentioned a minute ago, are academic achievement, character, leadership, and service. Being a beta means being part of a community of leaders who are positively impacting the world. I'm so excited that Hargrave Military Academy has chosen to be a part of beta. Your school strives to build young men into leaders of character prepared for lifelong success. I also read on your website that character defines who you are and who you become. At Hargrave, our students develop a strong sense of self built on values like honesty, respect, and responsibility. These core values are woven into your academic and extracurricular programs, shaping compassionate and confident leaders. I read that and I was like, wow, 
Beta and Hargrave, that's like perfect. Like y'all just match. It's similar characters, um, characteristics and expectations. And so I think this is a perfect, a perfect match for one of your extracurricular activities here at Hargrave. Um, as was mentioned, I was first introduced to Beta in 2002 when our first son became a member of the National Junior Beta Convention. And he was inducted at, Beta, at Gretna Middle School. And we quickly became involved in all the activities, the community service projects and the things that they were doing. And as a parent, I was thrilled that there was an organization at school that was encouraging my child with the same set of values and standards and expectations that I wanted for him as well, and to become a leader and to step up and, um, and to, to be a service um, focused on service. Uh, we continued with that with Mark, and then Matt came along, and, and they both competed at, of course, they did things local level, they competed at the state level, but Matt also competed at the national level. And it was, Mark did too, actually with group projects, but Matt competed individually at the national level. And it was so exciting to watch other young men and young women across our country stand up for the different things they wanted to do, whether it was speech or academic, um, maybe a test in Spanish or in French, um, the artistic opportunities, things to, to show your creativity. There's so many different competitions and ways to be a part. And so for all those middle school and high school years for our kids, we were very, very involved in beta. And when Matt graduated, I was a little sad because I thought my beta days are done. I, you know, I'm, I won't be involved um, because I don't have a child now. I was a beta mom. And then, as was mentioned earlier, I became a beta sponsor. The sponsors at Gretna High School asked if I would join. And so here I am, 13 years since my children graduated high school, and I'm still active in the beta club, and I love it. And one of your beta leaders, Mrs. Burnett, was one of our beta students at Gretna High School. And that's, that's thrilling to me to know that our students love this club so much that when they move on and begin to work at other levels in academia that they want to, they want to share their love with the students that they work with. Um, when Matt ran for national office when he was a middle schooler at the National Junior Convention, he met a young lady in Greensboro. Um, she lived in Tennessee, but he met this young lady. Her name was Laura. Fast forward about 12 years from that seventh grade little boy that met that girl, and those two got married, and they've been married for four years, and now they have a little girl. Her name is Caroline, and I'm hoping that one day, little Caroline also becomes a beta member. So it brings me great pleasure to see our students participate in community service as a beta sponsor. And they, they look for ways, for ways to help, um, to to serve the community. Recently, because of all the devastation in Western North Carolina, our, beta, our head beta sponsor, Mrs. Franklin, at Gretna High School, put out a plea to our students and parents that we need supplies to send to Western North Carolina, and they came through with lots of things to be sent to Western North Carolina. So it's great when we see students at work and when it comes from within and the students say, hey, how can we help? What can we do? And so I, I pray that that will be an opportunity for the students at Hargrave as well. Beta has truly been a worthwhile experience for us. It encourages and expects character, leadership, service, and academic excellence. Betas, we encourage you, all of you, to always be a leader, to demonstrate good character, to work hard in the classroom, and to serve others. Again, congratulations to the Beta Club inductees. Let us all proudly demonstrate the motto of Beta by let us lead by serving others. I personally look forward to seeing you at the state convention in February, and I can assure you that your um, comrades in Gretna at the high, at Beta Club there will be cheering you on and with the competitions that you choose to participate in at the, um, at the state level and in the, at the national level. I think this year it's in Disney World. Let's go to Disney World. I look forward to seeing you at the state convention and, um, and I, I wish you the best this year in your, in your opportunities to serve your community here um, in Chatham and beyond. Go Tigers! Thank you, Mrs. Marsden, for sharing your inspiring words with us today. Let's please give her another round of applause.
As we honor the new inductees today, I would like to challenge the members of the Corps to strive to become a member of the Hargrave Beta Club in the future. Do your best. As I call your name, please come up and receive your certificate from President Hooper, then move to the other side of the stage. Once all new members have received their certificate, I will ask you to recite the Beta Pledge. Nicholas Coleman. Dylan Herrera. <laughs> William Sackett. Sackett. <laughs> Jack Aviani. Zach Hall. Luke Hester. Tommy Alufore. Leon Chin. Manzi Victor. We also have two junior members moving to Senior Beta. Please stand where you are to recite the Beta Pledge. David Matherin and Kinley McBride. Please, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly de declare that I, that I shall always strive to hold fast to the principles of honesty, to endeavor constantly to maintain an admirable reputation, to an admirable reputation. and to develop the foundation, to develop the foundation. Of, character, service, achievement, of character, service, achievement, and leadership in my life. And leadership in my life. I, also I also pledge to cooperate with my fellow members. With my fellow members. I will encourage an individual, responsibility an individual responsibility to improve my school, to improve my school community, community state, and state and nation. I will defend, I will defend a, high standard of morality, a high standard of morality and join with my club, join my club to contribute to the improvement, to to the improvement of, our entire student body. of our entire student body. You may lower your right hand. Good morning. We want to thank everyone who attended today's induction ceremony and support all the cadets as they strive to meet the standards set by Hargrave Military Academy and the National Beta Club. Please give a round of applause to celebrate these cadets' accomplishments. We are excited to have the cadets as new members and look forward to working with them. I will have our chaplain, Cadet Kelson Hudson, lead us in our closing prayer. Please bow your heads with me as I close this in prayer. Almighty God, from who comes all insight and understanding, we beseech thee to look upon this school and hold us in thy care. We pray that here the confines of knowledge may continue to expand and that sound learning may flourish and grow. Bless all who teach and all who learn, and grant that both teachers and learners may always look towards thee, the fountain of all wisdom. 
We pray that from this school, young leaders will go forth generation after generation to live lives of honor and service to you and to the world. Give us the strength to choose the difficult right over the easy wrong. Help us to overcome the challenges you set before us, to care for the weak and helpless, and to measure our success by that of those who need us most. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.